All right, you're not seeing it now, but I guarantee you, Warner Brothers Discovery, especially David Zaslav, the CEO, wants to make big DC projects theatrical. Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. So today there was a Warner Brothers Discovery upfront. In fact, there was a lot of upfronts this whole week. We have Disney, tomorrow's gonna be the CW, and for some reason people were thinking Warner Brothers Discovery upfront was gonna be for movies. This is the definition of a TV upfront. The annual period in which platforms unveil their new programming slates in attempt to dazzle potential advertisers. Basically, TV, or in this case, nowadays, streaming services such as Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, Netflix, Paramount, so on and so forth. So because CW is the next day, HBO Max is going to be the focus of Warner Brothers Discovery and, you know, Discovery. Now, I was really hoping that this time they would actually announce the new app where it's HBO Max Discovery, so I don't have to pay another five bucks for Discovery Plus, and, but I guess it's not ready yet, but I'm really really hoping soon. But let's talk about what they announced for HBO Max. John Cena and James Gunn hopped on the call and announced it. Peacemaker Season 2 is happening. Which is not a surprise as it was a big hit on HBO Max. Now I thoroughly enjoyed the first season of Peacemaker and I can't wait to see Season 2. But anything else? I, that was it! I mean, they did show clips of Titans and Harley Quinn, but what happened to, like, the Green Lantern HBO Max series? Where's the Justice League Dark characters? Zatanna and Constantine? I don't even know if they showed Doom Patrol. What about Matt Reeves' The Batman spinoffs? All very much missing from the HBO Max presentation. So it gets me to believe that, you know, it's only been 30 days since David Zaslav came on. But within that 30 days, I'm pretty sure he's canceled a ton of stuff that was supposed to come out on HBO Max. In fact, one of those things he actually canceled was Wonder Twins. And it was actually confirmed today by other trades other than the hashtag show. Which the Hollywood Reporter said, one source said the budget was too high for what is considered an HBO Max movie. Twins was looking at a 75 million budget, but according to sources, Zaslav wants to keep HBO Max original movies 35 million and under. He has concluded that higher budgeted offerings do not add enough value, for example, add a significant number of subscribers, and more modestly budgeted movies seem to do the job of retaining subs. Original theatrical movies, however, do a gangbusters job of attracting subscribers, the Batman being a huge hit for the service, according to several sources. So this is troubling for any movies that were going to come out on HBO Max. In fact, this is kind of troubling for the idea of Snyderverse could, you know, potentially live on HBO Max. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. If $35 million is the max budget, not many things can come out on HBO Max. And it could mean that projects that rely on heavier budgets with heavy CGI like Wonder Twins, Green Lantern, and all these other projects could potentially be gone. A lot of things that were developed are going to go away, said another insider referring to the broader scrutiny that is coming to the slates of many Warner's divisions, including film. But that doesn't mean that it could necessarily go away altogether. Movies such as Batgirl, which was supposed to be an HBO Max original, could definitely get a theatrical treatment this time. And some scoopers are saying that Green Lantern could be converted to a movie instead. Because apparently David Zaslav is focusing on theaters. And we kind of had that feeling of energy from CinemaCon. Which is very much different from the previous regime with Jason Kylar, who was focusing on HBO Max rather rather than theaters. Instead, Mr. Zaslav wants Warner Bros. to focus on increasing its number of theatrical releases to between 20 and 25 a year, a person familiar with this thinking said. Theatrical movies also tend to perform better on HBO Max than movies made exclusively for the service. Last year, Warner Brothers released 17 movies. So more movies going to theaters with less focus on HBO Max. So if Batgirl is going to be a theatrical treatment, what does that say for the future of DC properties? According to insiders, the leadership of Warner Brothers Discovery, the new company combining with Discovery and Warner Brothers, and now being led by CEO David Zaslav, is imposing a mandate that DC movies should now be made with the theatrical theatrical first goal. And there you have it, a theatrical first goal for any DC content. That means they're going to look at all these DC projects and they're going to look at it and say, how can we make this a theatrical movie first? 
And whether or not it can be feasible in an under $35 million budget on HBO Max, that's still in consideration. But does this mean that we're going to have like Wonder Twins and Hour Man, Elastic Man in the theaters? Not necessarily. In the beginning of the Warner Bros. Discovery Upfront presentation, he said this, DC Comics and all we can do with it, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, once again putting out the heavy hitters, that's his focus. He wants the characters that people know about. He wants the big names. He wants the Justice Leaguers. And being big Justice Leaguers, these guys are not going to be in the $35 million budgets. These are going to be heading to theaters. The previous regime was kind of just green lighting anything possible. Just put it out there, $75 million, $80 million max budget for HBO Max, just get it out. But to me, David Zaslav's strategy is to make sure we get the big characters out. If he's going to invest in money, he wants to invest in something that he doesn't have to pioneer to sell to the audience like Wonder Twin. He knows he puts a Superman movie out there. He knows he puts a Batman movie out there, Wonder Woman and Aquaman movie. He knows that's going to sell tickets. And he knows that people want to watch that in the theaters. Which also means if you're a fan of the big DC characters, you're not going to hear news about it for HBO Max. You're going to hear more about this at the Comic Cons, the bigger things like even DC Fandom. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think this means that the Snyderverse is going to happen in theaters. I mean, never say never, but right now, Zack Snyder is super, super, super busy with Rebel Moon over on Netflix. He's got a whole universe expanding there, and hopefully Netflix doesn't cancel more projects, especially his. But whatever the future may hold, it is quite clear David Zaslev wants to make sure the general audiences recognizes these DC characters, and they are treated with the utmost respect by putting them in theaters. At the same time, knowing he's all in on theatrical movies you know this is kind of like a ploy to try get back directors like christopher nolan by mending those relationships with directors producers and actors who are really pissed off that warner brothers at that time making that same day theater streaming exclusives well what did you think about the warner brothers discovery upfronts were you excited not excited were you disappointed or you kind of knew what was happening share your thoughts in the comments down below